we create a new travel expense report, we can do this directly from the request tab. Clicking on the request that you want to append to the expense report and creating an expense report directly from it. As we can see here, the request is already appended as the approved amount is already showing. So I am going to start adding expenses, starting with airfare. Adding in a destination city, which in this case shall be Washington, D.C. Adding in a ticket number. Adding in an amount. As we can see from the travel request, we had an estimate of $375. So I'm adding an actual of $382 and adding the corresponding receipt. For these intents and purposes, I am adding in the G28 travel policy as my receipt. Saving this expense and adding another. I will now move on to the hotel expense. Adding in date range of the 19th of March to the 22nd. Um, the expenditure type is already listed from the travel request. And we can see here that we had an estimated amount of $1,000, but I am going to put this down to $800. I am adding in the receipt. This using the G28 as well. Attaching this. And making sure to itemize. I am saying that it was $175 per night. Which leaves me a room tax of... $25 a night. I'm saving the itemization. We have $200 remaining, so I am just going to allocate that to a meeting room rental. saying that this is a one-time expense of $200 and adding in that. Saving this expense. From here, I'm adding in one more expense, which shall be for meals and incidentals. Let's say that one meal was $67. Saving this expense as well. Allocating all of the expenses. We already have an allocation from the travel request, so I'm simply selecting this. Saving. And submitting the report.